Should new SQL tables always be built with compression enabled? No. What's the problem that you're trying to solve? One of the things, and I, you hear me ask that question a lot, but part of that is because every time you choose a non-default option, there are ramifications that you may not be prepared for. So rather than pushing all of the buttons, I would ask, what's the problem that you need to solve? Then let's go choose the right tools for it. In the example of compression, the data is stored compressed on the 8K page, which means that every time you read it, you're taking a CPU hit to decompress that data. Now, it may not be a large CPU hit, but if your SQL server is facing CPU problems, why would you add to that misery? So, there you go. I'm not saying compression's bad. I just go, you know, it's like, are screwdrivers bad? No, but do you need a screwdriver? Let's look at what problem you're trying to solve.